Hi, Chris McConnell here with Innovative Health and Fitness, and today we're going to do another house remodel. Today we're going to work on the bathroom. Um, right now I'm going to be painting the ceiling and then my mother-in-law is going to come over and we're going to take care of this ocean wallpaper and then paint the wood white and I think replace the light today. So that is our goal for today is paint the ceiling white. We're going to, I think we're going to do a gray on um, the walls. And then eventually we're going to replace the countertop here and I'll paint um, the countertop there. But that's our goal for today. We already started a little bit. Just kind of did a test run, see how it would work. So I will check in with you throughout the day um, and how the project is going. So far, I'm going to start with the ceiling in just a minute. <music> coming through so I am going to do another coat. I started painting the wood. That's just also going to need several coats too. Um, but it's looking good. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go work out and then give this a good time to dry and then I'm going to do the second coat. <laughs> Here's the update of the bathroom. So we painted this wall gray. I really like it. The wood is white. We had some issues with the light um, when we took it down. They just had wires coming out of the wall. So we had to put in this little electrical box. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, and then there's a pipe on the other side. So we had to do a special kind that like wraps around a stud. The mirror came crashing down. So that broke. <laughs> Nice, so we're gonna put a new mirror. I did paint this. I'll show, um, after this clip, I'll um, show a couple of pictures of what it looked like when, before we took the countertop off. We decided to do a new countertop. And we're gonna do some patchwork because there was tile on the wall. I'm gonna put a quick paint over here. Let that dry, we just did some texture. And then um, later this afternoon, we'll do another coat. Hopefully we can hang up the light fixture, the new mirror, and put the cabinet back and at least place the countertop on top. And I think um, Ryan is going to be um, putting in the sink today. Hopefully at least cutting a hole for that. It'd be nice to have our bathroom back. It's looking good though. I'm really happy with it so far. I'm hoping today we can um, kind of get it back to looking like a regular bathroom. <laughs> also hoping to put up the towel rack, hand towel rack as well. Yay, it's looking really good. Oh, this is the other thing we switched out. I don't remember if I showed that before. Those were brown. And we did push buttons instead of the little switches. That looks super nice. We have another one that we need to do here. And this one broke when the mirror fell down. So good thing we we're going to replace it anyway. So that is the current status of the bathroom. I will check in in a little bit with some more progress. We had to put this light in here and pretend we had light. <laughs> That one above the, the toilet there. 
a shower. It's not very bright. Plus it has an annoying fan that's really loud. Okay, so coming along. We're getting there. We have the new mirror, light, the hand towel, the towel rack, and then we put the, this is the, the new shower curtain. And I'm waiting for my rod to finish drying. I painted it because it was silver and I did the bronze, um, the brush bronze on there. Here we go. We just gotta put the sink in here, my drawers obviously. And then there's an opening here because the cabinet, or not the cabinet, the countertop was a little longer. So we're just gonna put some two by fours and kind of do that. So Ryan's gonna do that when he gets home today. It's coming along. I'm excited. We put the rug back in here. It actually fits perfect. We have some cleanup to do on the ground too, but it's a work in progress. Looking good. More progress. Oh, it's coming together so nice. So obviously still need to do the sink. We got these uh, Ansel Adams paintings up, the mirror. We've had these prints for so long. Actually, my husband had them before we even got married. And we just put some new frames on them. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then I'll come back up. We got this plant. Just a nice, I might spray paint that gold there. The bronze. So it matches everything else. But it's looking good. Looking really good. I'm so excited. And I painted the shower curtain. It was just the silver before, and I painted it that oil rubbed bronze so it matches everything else. I light. I love it. Hi. I really, yeah, so I'm gonna paint this that oil rubbed bronze. That's what I meant earlier. I'm so excited to have these framed. So the glass broke. I don't even know a long time ago and we just haven't replaced it so thanks to my wonderful mother-in-law she got us some new frames and our new towels oh love it it's really coming together so hopefully ryan has time to do the sink tonight and then we might um we'll probably trim, trim the countertop too because it's a little long or i might put a cabinet there not sure yet We'll see. Love it. Okay, a little update. So if you remember, there was a pretty good gap on this side and I just took some plywood and cut it into place and put it there. Just used a finisher, a nail finisher and I'm gonna sand it and I will paint it. So then I have to go on the other side and fill in this little gap too. Just because if you remember, I think I said earlier that this countertop was just a little bit wider than our, um, the cabinet and the old countertop. So we had to bring it up um, away from the wall just a little bit. So this was a better solution. We were gonna do two by fours and stuff, but this just kind of makes it nice and finished. I should have, I'm actually really proud that I cut this piece and I even did the little um, corner down here. I should have filmed that, but I was nervous because I had never really done like a precision cut before, but it worked out really good. So I'm gonna go cut the other side and then I'll sand and paint. And then this bathroom is gonna be Finished. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, better get to it. This piece that I cut off of the other main piece that I just showed you is 
almost the exact size. So I just need to trim it down just a little bit, a couple inches, maybe about an inch and a half, but it's this great length. So here we go. Just using the deck here. Just pretty good. And this has this laser. I love it. It's so awesome. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Think it's gonna fit? Let's see. Moment of truth. Perfect! So I just have to kind of, oh yay. So I just have to do the nail finisher, kind of place it in there perfect and we're good. I cannot believe how awesome it has turned out. Okay, just kidding. We decided to do a few more updates. We decided to do new flooring in here. So this just made a huge difference. We also put, um, took out the plastic baseboard and put the nice white baseboard in there. So flooring, new rugs, baseboard. I changed out, let me just get a different angle. I changed out the glass of these, I put some new light bulbs. I'll turn it off in a bit so you can see it better. And then we put in a new fan. Our last fan was so loud. Um, earlier I was talking about how loud it was. And this one is super cool. It has, let me turn on the light. This is pretty quiet. And so it's LED and it's a Bluetooth speaker. How cool is that? So you're taking a shower, you have your music playing or a podcast or a book. So cool. Let me show you these lights. Um, let's see if you can see. Yeah, that's better. So these lights um, came from a light I had upstairs in Jack's bathroom, which soon you'll see that video of that remodel. Um, so I had switched them out for him and I changed these out and new light bulbs. So yay, I'm still loving this bathroom, still under budget, fantastic bathroom update. So much better than the ocean view. I love it.
cannot believe how awesome it has turned out. It was on a budget and it has just turned out so amazing. I am so happy with the outcome. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will in the description have details on how much it costs to do this remodel as well as on my blog. So leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you have any tips for remodeling old houses. I would love to know. Have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.